Hey, you're very good morning, all of you. So, some of you might be thinking, what's the point of making predictions for the Nobel Prize, uh, even though you know it's gonna be announced in about a few hours? Well, like we make predictions for cutoffs so that you know to ease your anxiety, we make uh, you know cutoff predictions for the competitive exams. In a similar manner, um, we make predictions over here, and there is much more utility to it. See, when you get to know about the various domains, so so when we make predictions about Nobel Prize, uh, Nobel Prize winners. there are multiple domains multiple influential domains if if you're getting a nobel prize for a particular domain of course that domain has done wonders for the for the you know mankind so it's good to know about what are the hot topics and what are the topics uh, you know uh, which um, are upcoming or have already been worked on but they have a lot of potential okay so uh, let me just uh, start with these predictions of course these are not, some of them are like my own as well but uh, you know of course a lot of other renowned uh, people individuals have made these predictions as well so the first one is uh, professor shankar bala subramaniam you can read more about them i'm just here to give you an overview about who all could possibly win it right um so uh, he's a indian born british chemist who along with uh, professor david um clenerman um in fact won the previous year's millennium prize also 2020 millennium prize as well um so for faster genome sequencing okay so that that's a very very um you can say useful technology and you have seen that in, even last year the nobel prize in chemistry went for uh, for some bio, you know biological applications so this time as well uh, there's a good chance that uh, professor shankar bala subramaniam and david clenerman might professor david clenerman might share this nobel prize okay uh, apart from that uh, we have uh, from the university of uh, national university of singapore um uh, there there's a british chemist called professor barry halliwell who is known for his work on free radical chemistry okay um so um he's also in contention for the nobel prize uh, um according to many um then we have uh, this is like i feel there's a very high possibility of professor carolyn betozi winning the nobel prize uh, she's a professor at stanford university and she's known for a very wonderful domain of chemistry which is called in fact she coined this um, you know this particular term which is called bio orthogonal chemistry and bio orthogonal chemistry in short if i have to tell you is basically um re chemical reactions within the living system that do not interfere with the biochemical process okay you can read about it bio orthogonal chemistry and you can read more about uh, professor carolyn betozi i i feel um she has a very high probability of winning this year's nobel prize of course see nobel prize generally you will see that now individuals are not sharing like it is not being given to one person it is been given to generally three right so of course there might be other domains also but i i, I feel she has a very um good shot at winning the nobel prize then we have uh, the computational uh, chemist you know you can say one of the most renowned uh, computational chemist uh, in the world who is known for his work on uh, you know simulating chemi chemical and biochemical reactions um he is from yale university and uh, and then we have uh, professor uh, omar yagi as well okay and uh, I think uh, yeah he is known for his work on metal organic frameworks metal organic frameworks have huge potential and huge applications um and I think um that th he is also in contention for uh, for this year's um Nobel prize along with that even though maybe not this year but there there is a technology uh, which is called protax okay and if i show you over here this who is from yale university uh he is working in this uh, domain called protax okay and uh, you can see over here it's written proteolysis targeting cameras this is a revolutionary technology in the field of medicinal chemistry not a technology it's 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 a molecule but it's a revolutionary idea in the field of medicinal chemistry i think the first paper came sometime in 2001 or 2002 and uh, now a lot of molecules based on this particular protax um you know technology as it is written um are in clinical trials and if these come into the market like if these are shown to be effective and these are you know they are marketed products if they become marketed products there's a sure shot nobel prize for professor craig crews uh, no doubt about it okay so these are some you know um you can say predictions for the nobel prize and along with that the more important idea behind making this video was so that you get to know about the different domains uh, you know which are, which are which are, which are popular and the individuals who are pioneers in it right 
so anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up let's hope uh, one of the individuals or one of the professors over here wins the nobel prize um wishing them all the best and that's all thank you for today hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the an academy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the an academy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the an academy for that all you need to do is go to the an academy website or download the an academy learning app and search my name over there that is sethi once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the an academy platform all right